I think a lot of people would say another distinguishing characteristic of humans is we have this self-awareness. Um, is that, is that the, the crucial thing about what makes us self, whether we have self-awareness? I, I, it, it, it may well be, um, and it depends on what you, what you really mean by a sense of self. Um, one, of the, one of the things that uh, psychologists have em employed for a long time is something that I know you're all familiar with on the panel, and that is the mirror test, uh, which is whether or not an animal can look in a mirror and recognize itself in the mirror as opposed to just uh, some other animal. Um, and I remember at one point my, uh, my wife, who is an equestrian who rides horses, the indoor arena uh, where she brought the horse had uh, uh, over, uh, over the weekend installed a whole series of mirrors, large mirrors, on one end of the arena. And apparently dressage riders really like to do that because then they can watch themselves and make sure they're making every move correctly. And she let her horse loose into this arena and he saw the mirrors and he immediately ran over um, and stared at himself for oh, two or three minutes. And the way she described it is, she was pretty sure that all he was saying is, there's another horse over there and he's really good looking. Um, <laughs> um, and she was not convinced that he saw himself. But the mirror test is if you can take an animal and perhaps make a mark somewhere on their bodies, maybe with a magic marker, maybe by putting a bandage there. And then if they walk up to the mirror and looking at that reflection, they realize it's on me. Um, that basically is a sense of self. And humans obviously can pass that test. So can chimpanzees. So can bottlenose dolphins, as it turns out. Dogs don't pass the test. Um, and you know that you might say that means dogs have no sense of self. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is that we are visual creatures. We evolved in an arboreal environment. That's one of the reasons we have such good vision. Dogs, not so much visual creatures. Their olfactory senses and their auditory senses are what they rely on. So for an animal like a dog, and there are a lot of animals that fall into that category, what you might see visually might seem less important than what you can smell. And you can't smell anything from the other side of the mirror. So, the, so uh, what you're yeah. suggesting is that the mirror test can only go so far in, it, in establishing whether another species it, have a sense of self. It, it can indeed only go so far. And to me, the sense of self means that I recognize myself as an individual living organism distinct from other individual living organisms and that I have some agency over my own. I understand my hands and fingers are part of my body and not something else. Carl, what, what, do, do, how much stock do you put in the mirror test? Worst test ever. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for this. Um, for one thing, when a wolf is eating an elk's leg, it doesn't bite its own leg by accident. Right. Almost every, every animal that is mobile has a sense of self. The sense of self is, as you said, I am an individual distinct from the rest of the environment and distinct from other individuals. When an animal attacks its reflection in the mirror, it's showing that it has a sense of self. You can't fail a mirror test. It's attacking because it thinks that is not me. That's a competitor. That's a potential enemy. Or it may start courting because it thinks that's a potential mate because it has a sense of self. If it had no sense of self, it wouldn't react to anything ever at all. It wouldn't know the difference between itself and the environment. It wouldn't be able to get food or mate or fight or anything. So the, um, the psychology professor who invented the mirror test, which was uh, back in the 70s, his name was Gordon Gallup, and he said, quote, Self-awareness provides the ability to contemplate the past, to project into the future, and to speculate on what others are thinking. Have you ever seen any of that in a mirror? No. You can't test for that in a mirror. What the mirror test with the mark shows 
is certain animals can understand reflection, and usually it takes a little while. Usually they have to be used to having a mirror there, then they stare at the mirror, then they figure out, oh, wait a second, it's doing everything I'm doing, that's me. When people showed mirrors to people who had never seen mirrors before, most of them freaked completely out because they didn't know that was them or what the thing was that is a mirror. But that doesn't mean they weren't human. That doesn't mean they didn't have all the same capacities that people have when they're in a society that has mirrors.